If you're live streaming on Instagram and you want to screen share a live screen so that you can show people how you're photoshopping something or how to go through your website to sign up for your course, we now have the ability to do so with a brand new feature on Instagram. Now, over the past couple of years, we have had access to screen sharing photos and videos from our camera roll inside of mobile, but this version to share a live screen where you're actually doing things requires you to be on desktop. So head over to Instagram.com. And once you're on Instagram, you are going to go to create and down to live video. Now from here, you're going to have to put in a title. Your title needs to be very well thought out. It has to have a hook and it has to stop people scroll. So put your intentionality into this title for this one. I'm just going to call it test because we're not actually going to go through the process of going live. I'm just showing you how to do it. And then you're going to set your audience. You can go public where everybody that follows you can see you or practice mode where you are not seen by anybody. You're just able to test out your buttons. We have a whole video on how to do that and a whole video about how to live stream with screen sharing from your phone, which I will link down in the caption below. From here, you're going to click on that next button and don't worry, you're not streaming yet. This is just taking you to the section where you're going to get your stream URL and your stream key. This is the information you need to input into your third party to live stream. Now you can use companies like BeLive or Restream. Logitech has one. You can use OBS, whatever works best for you. I like BeLive because they allow you to stream vertically. So it's not horizontal and weird as you are live streaming on Instagram. It's actually the size of the phone. It makes a lot more sense. You can have multiple guests. You can screen share multiple multiple things and you have the ability to do a lot more with that. So I'm going to show you how to do it here, but you can do it on any third party that you want. I actually work with a bunch of them. So I'll link tutorials on how to use those down below as well. So you do have up to five hours to broadcast after you are checking your preview. So make sure once you are doing this within five hours, you are doing that stream. Otherwise you could potentially have a strike against your account or some type of penalty or it could get canceled. You, you don't want that. So make sure you go live within five hours of this. And all you have to do is click on the copy buttons. You will need your stream URL. You will need your stream key. You'll have to put both of those things into your third party. Now, once you start streaming on the third party, then you click go live here and it will send it out to your Instagram page. So let's go ahead and take a look at be live. The nice thing about be live again is that it can go vertical. So as you're setting this up before you go live, you're going to want to switch from horizontal to vertical mode. And like I said, you have the ability to add in multiple guests. You can at in multiple screens. You can show whatever you want. You can actually switch the order of things as well. So if you're screen sharing and your Photoshop's on top and you want it on the bottom, you just drag these two right here and it's going to switch that for you. And then you are going to go up to edit destination. So you're going to be looking for your destination key on whatever third party you happen to be using. You're going to go down to custom RTMP. There seems there's a lot of options here and you're going to copy your stream URL into it or your server URL into it and your stream key into it as well. Now you can schedule this stream or you can just go live. You can also with be live and a lot of these third parties have multiple destinations. So you can do this to TikTok If you have your stream key, you can do this to your YouTube channel. You can do this to your Facebook or Facebook groups. There's lots of options to do it at the same time, just depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it, but you cannot go vertical and horizontal horizontal at the same time. So you have to pick one way. So if you are streaming on Instagram, you're going to want to go vertical and that's also going to translate well into Insta or into YouTube and into Facebook and other things because people watch those on their mobiles as well. You're going to click your save button and then you are going to go ahead and start your stream. So you're going to go live from there. It's going to take a second for it to pick that up. And when you're ready to go, then you're going to be able to stream over to Instagram. So you just have to wait for that nice little button right there to finish swirling around three, two, one. So now we've got our countdown. If you have things that you're going to be putting on your media, if you're going to be screen sharing, if you are going to have any customized branding. So let's say you want overlays on here. You can actually put your overlays on there so that people can see that you can see it's right there. And then you are streaming from that point. Now you're going to head back over and you are going to go live from here here and you have the ability to then stream from your platform. You're going to want to grab an extra phone or your phone. You're going to want to check from a different account to make sure you are live streaming. And then you have the ability to, of course, add anything that you need in here and have your guests here. Now, if you are using guests on here, they cannot be coming from their Instagram page. They're coming through your guest link, meaning it's not going to connect to their page, unfortunately. So you can have lots of guests. They don't even have to have Instagram to do this, but it will not go out to their audience because they're not coming in through their mobile. They're coming in through 
your live streaming platform here. So if you want to be shown to your audience and their audience, you do have to go live from your phone. You aren't able to do all the fun extra things on your screen, but you do have the ability to pull them in from here if you want to have some type of party and just have it on your page. Now we will be doing tutorials on how to use BeLive specifically for this, so follow along for more. And as we break more news with Instagram, with new features that you can be using, we want to make sure that we are getting your questions answered. So now is the time to go ahead and drop those questions for us down below so that we can get those answered for you to keep you ahead of the competition, ahead of the curve, so you know exactly what you're doing so that you can make this your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress and effort and elevate the content you are creating, including your live streams. Lots of tutorials on how to live stream with live stream action plan. I'll link those down below and we'll see you in the upcoming episodes.